Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be doing a Bible journaling process using the Joy Journey Devotional Kit from Illustrative Faith. And I know a lot of you weren't able to get the physical kit, so today I'm actually going to focus on just using items that you can get from the Print and Pray shop and not the physical goodies, so that way you can still do this entry or do something similar um, if you didn't get the physical kit. So uh, I am like crazy madness right now. We are going to be leaving for the weekend. I've got kiddos playing outside, laundry going, dishwasher going. Um, I didn't have time to go into like a full in-depth scripture study for the video today. So we're just going to keep it very basic and just get a quick entry done into my Bible. And I will just encourage you to get the devotional and do your own study on your own time because it's super, super good. So um, I am working on, I guess, essentially the second, second portion of the uh, devotional and you can get the devotional as a digital copy and I will have all that linked down below for you guys so you can check that out and I'm going to be responding to this bottom um session here and she's talking about um, prayer and meeting God um, or meeting Jesus through prayer and so um, we will be using that and so there was this image I wanted to show you kind of what I did with the printables so there's this image in the devotional and this is actually a tattoo that Allie has it's super super beautiful and uh, I wanted to use that in my entry today and I am working in the illustrating bible so what I did was I um got the digital files from Illustrated Faith and I dropped those into Photoshop. But I think that you can do the same technique with something like PicMonkey or one of those free photo editing programs. Um, you might be able to do something similar. So what I did was I went through and just kind of picked some of the digital elements that I wanted to use on my page today and printed them out on a couple different things. So what you'll actually notice is the face here is facing the opposite direction. So I dropped the file into Photoshop and then I just flipped it so that it's looking up so that it'll be looking the right direction on my page since my verse falls on this side. So don't be afraid to kind of manipulate things with the digital files, that's kind of the nice thing. So I flipped it and then uh, if you didn't get the stamp set, there is this image in the digital version of the devotional and so I just cropped out the flower which is that stamp and placed it on here because I know I'm going to want to use that. And then there is a digital sticker sheet. So the little sticker sheet here um, that you can get with the physical kit. They also have the digital version. So I just pulled out the phrase that I wanted to use and I actually made it a little bit bigger since I'm working in the illustrating Bible so I could blow it up. And then I also copied in the uh, tabs because I'm probably going to be using a tab. This was all printed on clear sticker paper. So I wanted these to be um, easy to use and cut out and use on sticker paper. But then I also printed the, like, these are the acetate or the messy cards in the physical kit, um, but you get the digital version. I printed these on just plain white cardstock. And what I wanted to do is there's these, like, um, little diamond shapes in the stickers. And so I wanna create my own version of that. Of course, you could just print those diamonds off out of the digital file, but I kind of wanted to, I don't know, just do my own thing. So I'm gonna actually use some of these messy cards to create my own little diamond shapes and cut them out of there to use as accent pieces um, on my entry. And then one thing that I wanted to note about these also, it's a good idea to print these on cardstock or just plain paper, and then use these as tippins in the devotional if you're looking for more space to write your responses to the prompts if you wanna work directly in the booklet. So whether you're working in the physical kit or the digital kit, um, print these out on cardstock and then just cut them out and insert them as tippins and then you've got a space that you can journal on and then the artwork all kind of seamlessly blends in with what's already in here. So I just went ahead and printed both of them um, on cardstock so that I could use them that way. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward here in just a second. We are journaling in John chapter 17 
verse 24 says, Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that they will see my glory, which you have given me because you've loved me before the world's foundation. Um, and so we're going to be talking about meeting. I'm, I took from this meeting him in the secret place through prayer. And so that's going to be kind of my pull out moment from this. So let me go ahead, put you on fast forward, and we will quickly put together a simple entry today for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to start by creating those diamond shapes out of these messy cards. So I'm just loosely and lightly sketching in some wonky diamond shapes. And I'm kind of picking and choosing different areas to get the, the textures and colors that I want uh, on my page here. Now initially when I sat down to do this um, process video, I thought that I would create my own collage background. I thought I'd pull out my paints, a china marker, and just go to town creating kind of a similar background to these and I'm like Lindsay why recreate the wheel <laughs> Allie's already done all the artwork it's already done print it out cut it out and be done it does not have to be super complicated so that's what I did I just cut those out I went ahead and also kind of fussy cut out the stickers that I'm going to use and now I can start positioning things where I think it's going to go so the majority of this page is really just going to be black and white with little pops of color. I love how it came out. Very, very simple. Uh, I initially planned on sticking this floral image underneath the girl, um, but it wasn't going to leave me enough room to journal. So I went ahead and tucked it in that upper corner and it kind of worked out because I can still read the text through it because it's a clear sticker and it looks like she's looking up towards that corner. So that worked out just fine. So here I pulled out these colorful alpha stickers. These were recently sent to me by Dayspring um, and the colors work perfectly with the kit this month. So it was kind of fun to mix and match things for uh, the title that I am creating here. So I'm just making sure I have room for my title and for my journaling. Now for large stickers like this, clear stickers, my trick is to just pull away part of the backing paper, stick that down, and then pull the rest of it away. That way I can make sure that it's perfectly placed and it doesn't accidentally like grab the paper as I go in to stick it down, um, and that just works better. I'll show you, I think in closer detail, how I do that with the girl sticker as well. I've also pulled out my Tim Holtz label letters, which are sadly discontinued. <laughs> I'm so sad. So I'm hoarding the little bit that I have. And I'm going to use those as part of my title. So this will say, meet him in the secret place. And basically that just means like in the heavenly places, like having that secret intimate place that you meet God in your prayers. And so I love this devotional. If you've not grabbed it yet, you need to. It's fantastic. Allie's amazing. <laughs> the content is super, super good. Pulling out my T ruler to help line up my stickers. I was recently editing a lot of videos this week and realized I use this ruler in 99% of my videos. It is so handy. So if you've not grabbed one yet, I always get asked what are staple Bible journaling like products and I would say the t-square ruler is one of those for me my husband like used a hacksaw to cut off the end of it so that it would fit in my illustrating bible without hitting the spiral binding I'm just going to take a glue stick to stick down these little wonky diamonds now if you have the physical kit you could go ahead and just use the stickers that are in the kit um, but I wanted to show you for those of you who missed out on the physical kit you can see you can really put together a beautiful page that doesn't take very long and just by using the digital elements. So there is where you could see I kind of cut away part of the backing paper and then stuck it down and then that way I could get it positioned exactly where I wanted it and it's not all flimsy and difficult to deal with. This just works better for me. And I can still read all of the text through that image there. Pulling out a precision pen just to add some little sketchy details to these um, diamond shapes just to kind of help them stand out and tie them in a little bit more. That really made them pop off the page. I had to be, I had to restrain myself because I work with a lot of color. I love a lot of color, but I really wanted the feel of this page to be a little more black and white and so I kept wanting to add tons and tons of uh, <laughs> color, but I pulled back. For the tab here, I had printed the tabs on clear sticker paper, but that makes them kind of floppy and flimsy. So I just um, pulled it off, stuck it onto some of that cardstock, and then now I'm just cutting out the uh, tab, and that works just fine. I could have printed those on the cardstock, but I 
I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to trying to work quickly. I did pull out some grid washi from my stash. So you can use any washi tape you have. I really wanted to use the washi tape from the kit, but it's no longer available. So I restrained for you guys. I didn't use it. I used this washi tape, which I will link down below. If you want to grab this, you can. And I'm just going to use that to hold down the tab and then just a little bit at the bottom to help pull in that pattern at the bottom as well. And then I pulled out these Word Fetty sticker booklets. This also was sent to me by Dayspring and just used some of these to sprinkle around. There was this perfect one that says pray, 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 which really went perfect with what we are looking at in the devotional study today. So made sure to add that and then a little wow God sticker at the top. Pulled out my highlighter washi. Again, all of these are like the perfect colors to match the kit this month. And so I was trying to kind of use an equal amount of like the orange, teals, pinks. Again, not using a whole lot of the colors. So just little sprinkles of it. And I'm just going to use the highlighter washi to highlight the verse. Again, that's John 17, 24 using that light blue there. And then now I'm gonna add some uh, watercolor splashes just to bring a little splash of color. Now, a little tip for you, make sure that your watercolors are dry in the pan before you store them away. These must have been wet when I closed them up and put them away and they've been in a drawer for months. And when I pulled them out, they had some funk going on with the paint when they were still kind of wet and just weird. So make sure that you let your paints dry before you close them up and pack them away if you're not going to use them frequently. That was an oops on my part. So just splattered that around and then I do uh, dry that with my heat tool off camera and just being careful with the clear sticker paper because it can warp the clear sticker paper if it gets too hot. I'm just going to use that tea ruler to give myself some journaling lines. I have plenty of space right here in the center where I can add my um, journaled out prayer in response to the devotional content. And then that is really going to be it for the entry. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I use today, including the digital files. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.